Welcome back to Junk Wax Genius, uh, the show, and I use the definite article, the, the show on YouTube where a grown man opens old packs of baseball cards and talks about what's inside. It is a groundbreaking format on YouTube. Uh, hopefully it's one that'll catch on because I think there's a definite market for this kind of activity. Uh, people of a certain age opening things that are nostalgic about their childhood. Call me crazy, I think it just might take off. Today we've got two packs from the Junk Wax era. 1992 um, Upper Deck, the Find the Williams edition, looking for that autographed Ted Williams, that would be awesome. And then one of my favorite issues ever of Stadium Club. This is 1994, Series 1. Uh, but as we all always do when we open 92 Upper Deck, we're on the lookout, not just for the Williams, but for, say it with me, hashtag weird eyes. If we, if we find one, you're not gonna be able to unsee it. Somebody went a little crazy with the photo retouching. I think there's like a general thing with the, the color balance or something. I don't have the, the vocabulary to really uh, explain it accurately. Experts might weigh in, but the way that they manipulated the color with the retouching and especially the whites of the eyes when they should be kind of shaded by hats, uh, really weird. So Bill Landrum, not really egregious there. Uh, Mike Mussina, nice card to get. His eyes look normal. They're shaded by his hat. I mean, they're kind of kind of bright, but not quite weird eyes bright. Reasonable, reasonable eyes. Dave Justice, another great card. Would have been very excited to get that card in 1992. There's Glenn Allen Hill. Uh, Glenn Allen does not have a middle name. Glenn Allen is his first name. There's no middle name. There's Sid Bream. There's Thomas Howard. Rick Wilkins showing off that he, he's got possession. That's good for him. There's uh, Daryl Kyle with his uh, tribute to Lawrence of Arabia, keeping his head cool in that, that Astrodome Sun, that famous Astrodome Sun they were playing in in 1992. Mike Fitzgerald, no weird eyes yet so far. Pete Cavilia, Mike Lavalier. We've got Melito Perez, good guy, signing for the fans, presumably. There's Doug Henry, still not much in the way of weird eyes. Steve Farr, and I think we're not gonna get an example here on the Baseball Heroes uh, informational card. Great, well, you'll know it when you see it. Uh, on to 1994 Stadium Club Series One. We've got a rainbow foil insert card in this pack. That's really the, uh, the big chase card for 1994 Stadium Club. There's some members only things, a couple of uh, maybe a first day issue, some things like that. Scott Brocious, Felix Fermin, Jody Reed. I'm pretty sure that's Jody Reed and not that because it would be kind of an insult if this was Jody Reed's card and what they featured was his butt. There's Scott Cervais, nice horizontal card there. There's another horizontal one, that's Roberto Alomar. This time he's the man in focus. There's Kent Herbeck. These horizontal cards, man, loving the stadium club. This is why I love this set so much, because they even gave these awesome portrait style things to guys like Tom Foley. No offense to Tom Foley, but man, gorgeous card. Frank Thomas with his home run club card, kind of a chase card. Uh, Major League debut here for Roberto Mejia. Jack McDowell, award winner. Won your Cy Young, I believe, for the American League that year. There's Brad Pennington with his, that's the rainbow foil. It's kind of gold instead of having the red. And another horizontal card, Matt Noakes. So many horizontal cards in 1994 Stadium Club Series 1. That's why it's one of my favorites. I just love this design. I love the photo quality. Um, big fan. Thanks for watching. It's two packs down. We'll do two more tomorrow. Thank you for watching Junk Wax Genius, the show on YouTube where a grown man does this kind of thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you tomorrow.